Hey what's happening guys this is Shukesh and today I'm gonna unbox this all new Motorola Moto C Plus which is actually a 7000 rupees phone and at this price point you actually have two more Motorola devices I have with me the Moto E3 power which is currently at 7500 rupees and this is Moto G4 play uh, 8000 rupees and considering the price point I think these two devices are more valuable for money but if you want a smartphone with a big big battery then Moto C Plus is the phone for you it has a 4000 mAh lithium polymer battery uh, but unfortunately you have just a 2 megapixel front facing camera and interestingly there is also Moto C available on Flipkart at 6700 rupees that is just 300 rupees less and that's actually a much inferior version of this Moto C Plus with just 1 gig RAM uh, the battery is 2350 milliamp hour and also the CPU is much inferior so obviously there is no sense in buying the Moto C so let's get started with the unboxing and another very important thing I want to mention here you have Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box and this is one of the most affordable Android Nougat device in the world so that's another reason you should get this Moto C Plus but obviously there is Redmi 4 with a much much better CPU, GPU and also RAM capabilities I will talk about that later There you go the all new Moto C Plus and uh, I got the gold color though you have two more color options white and black. Well the phone actually looked much better on pictures but in hand I think it's not as premium as it looks. Uh, the back cover is actually made of plastic and there is fine texture and uh, the camera actually resembles the Moto G5 and G5 Plus though there is no camera bump and uh, at the top you have the 3.5 mm headphone jack along with the USB 2.0 port at the bottom there is nothing but the primary microphone hole and you also have the loudspeakers here this is the power button and also you have the volume rockers here there is nothing here at the left and at the front the navigation keys are here these are capacitive keys you also have the ear speaker grill at the top and also the front facing 2 megapixel camera there you have a front camera flash which is really nice at the back the camera is of 8 megapixel with a flash as well now let's look for the battery in the box which is the best feature of this phone uh, you also have some accessories here this is the earphone which is actually slightly different from the previous ones we got with the G4 Play and also the E3 Power. The earpieces are redesigned and there you have the 3.5mm jack which is not gold plated. The remote has just a button for answering and ending calls. Next we have the power adapter which is of 5.2V 2A that is it's a 10.4W adapter considering the battery is huge it's gonna take some time to charge your phone. This is the data cable and uh, it's obviously not USB type C as I have already mentioned. You also have some paper works and also the battery. As I mentioned earlier it's a lithium polymer battery and the rating is 4000 mAh. Let's get rid of all these things here and install the battery have a close look at the device itself it's really good to have a removable back cover you can install and also remove the battery by yourself now Moto C Plus is a dual sim device with two nano sim slots and also you can install micro SD card slots the micro SD card slot is dedicated unlike the Xiaomi devices so you can keep two sim cards and also an SD card at the same time now let's remove this sticker and power on the device, have a close look at the display and also the software. 
Well, there you go, the device is ultimately ready and the first thing I want to check is the display. You have a 5 inch HD display with 294 ppi and I really don't have any complaints on the resolution. For the price, you have a really great display. It's a TFT screen, not IPS LCD unlike the Moto G4 Play and the E3 Power. But one thing very interesting, I have found out the display brightness of this C Plus is actually quite high. Now I don't know whether you can see or not but the display brightness of this C Plus is actually much higher than this Moto G4 Play. It's obviously higher than the E3 Power and even the Moto G5 Plus. So for outdoor visibility this C Plus will be a really great device. As far as the front look is concerned well uh, interestingly you have the navigation keys uh, not on the screen which is not that much common on Motorola devices you also have a bezel which is chrome finished and it looks actually quite premium but I personally still prefer the old design of Motorola with a matte finished bezel and the back look of this Moto G4 Play and E3 Power are I think more premium looking. Now with the battery installed, this phone is actually quite heavy, it's heavier than the G4 Play and also E3 Power. In fact, the weight of the Moto G5 Plus is 155 gram. The thickness of this phone is 10 mm, uh, not much considering you have a huge battery and uh, one thing I have to mention here, there is actually no sensor at the top, you can see here, so while calling you have to actually either press the power key or the phone screen will get locked automatically and you have to press the power key again to unlock and also to enable the display. Let's actually check the settings menu and show you the storage RAM. The Android version as I mentioned before is 7.0 Nougat which is great and uh, Let's actually check the RAM out of the box. Well, you have 1.3 gig free for the user, so it's more than enough for almost all the applications you have on the Play Store. Now, the storage on this phone is officially 16 gig and you have 2.98 gig used. But interestingly, if you look here, it's showing 196 MB used out of 11 gig. So it's more or less 11 gig you have not bad at all and the battery is currently at 50% I will talk about the battery performance in my upcoming reviews I will also do a battery charging and discharging speed test in between the Redmi Note 4 sorry Redmi 4 and also the Moto G4 Play and the E3 Power now there is nothing interesting on the settings menu. The Motorola Moto features like Moto Migrate, uh, Moto Gestures and also Moto Display are not on this phone. You have the raw version of Android which will make the phone very very fast but again you will be missing the Motorola exclusive features. As I mentioned before, you don't have any sensor but a front facing camera flash uh, very similar to the Samsung Galaxy J series devices and about that there is also J3 Pro with uh, 8000 rupees price tag and having 2 gig RAM, 16 gig storage and also a super AMOLED 5 inch screen. The battery is smaller 2800 milliampere so you can also consider the J3 Pro. Let's actually have a close look at the specs sheet we have here you have a mediatek 6735 processor but i think it's 6737 there might be some mistake uh, it's very close to the moto e3 power it has 6735 processor and the cpu speed is 1 gigahertz whereas you have 1.25 gigahertz octa core processor the GPUs are same and the storage RAM and also the display resolution are also identical. Now if you compare it with the Moto G4 Play you have Snapdragon 410 and the clock speed is 1.21 GHz so uh, very close in terms of clock speed but uh, you have a Snapdragon processor on this G4 Play which is more battery efficient and also better in heat management. Let's have a quick look at the uh, benchmarks I have run already and uh, on and to the benchmark you have very close result but the score on the Moto C Plus is much less. So as far as CPU power is concerned this C Plus is actually a very capable device. You can play almost all the mid-range games without any issues. 
Now there is a very interesting thing I have found out the loudspeaker you have at the back is I think the loudest on any Motorola device uh, except for the high-end devices of course. Uh, I've played a YouTube video and it's so loud you can hear it from another room I think. For example, this application is now in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. You have blank screen at the top and so it's very very loud. So if you are getting this phone for watching movies or playing games, uh, the loudspeaker and also the battery will be perfect. Now last but not the least, let's have a close look at the cameras. Of course, the 8 megapixel camera at the rear is very reasonable, but again, the 2 megapixel camera is really not worth the price. You have the basic camera interface, the video capability is up to 720p, and you also have an option to minimize the shakes. The front camera and the back camera quality, I really don't have any idea. I will share some samples at the end of this video. You also have a beauty mode and this is the front camera option. You can enable the flash from here. Not bad, though there is actually some lag in the shutter, I think. As you can see, there is also some lag on the viewfinder. Guys, we are at the end of this video and if you ask me, well, you should get this device only you have requirements for a bigger battery, Android 7.0 for very fast user interface and also no issues. The user interface is actually buttery smooth, I didn't experience any kind of lag. The phone looks actually very good, not as premium as the Xiaomi devices of course, but still it's very very good. and. Also a great speaker, it's much louder than all the other entry level devices I think. The SD card slot is also dedicated and uh, for first time buyers I think it's a great phone to try. There is also Moto E4 coming up in India and there is a E4 Plus with a 5000mAh battery but the price of E4 Plus will be more than 10,000 rupees and the price of E4 is I think uh, at least 2000 rupees more than this Moto C Plus. I will upload some videos on this uh, Moto C Plus versus Redmi 4 and also Moto C Plus versus uh, the Moto E3 Power and also Moto G4 Play. So stay tuned. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day, guys. Mm -hmm.